Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Rise Up, A B Me. Today, I'm going to be speaking from my book because I've just connected back in with my books, my shadow books, the books that I've been writing in for years. And this is why I do encourage all beings to write down their problems and solutions. Uh, there's going to be many videos. These books of mine, they are the Be Me Bible. They're my Bible. Bible for me is something that I religiously adhere to. It's an expression of who I am. And I come from a place of not being very educated in a lot of ways. So for me to even begin to know how to write was a big challenge for me. But it was the only way. It was the only way to be able to get this information out of me because if not my mind was just going over and over and over again and what I said to myself I made a promise that once it was out of my mind brought onto the planet i.e in a pen and paper I promised myself that I wouldn't think about it again so therefore you've got to learn to get whatever it is out of your head into the paper and then start to understand what it is that you're writing, whatever the problem is, and then be able to go into your be me higher self to explain the answer. And once you start, it evolves. Because when I look back, I mean, some of these books could be 10 years old. This one could be 10 years old, what I'm going to read to you today. But I live by it. Not someone else's writings or books. You've got to believe what it is that's within you and I know there's a lot of you that are receiving data you're receiving information you just don't know what to do with it but you've got to start it is the best therapy you are the greatest therapist you've got to understand to find yourself to feel the true self and then be the true self so I live by this every day of my life and because of this, it enables me to see the world with completely new eyes. Basically, I awaken my own blindness and through opening my own blindness, that's where my soul and spirit connected and I become the one. So these are my teachings. I'm going to share them with you. No, you cannot buy them. Hopefully one day you will though. Please God. But anyway. This is about what is it. Now let me explain. You know when you go through depression, you're asking what is it? If you see a spirit, you say, what is it? This feeling that you're feeling, what is it? So I'm going to explain exactly that what I was going through. I was going through that. What is it? Why am I going through this? What is it? What does it want? So let me read you from my Beamy Bible. It's always been the Beamy Bible, by the way, because it's something I religiously stick to, and it works. And I'm going to share it with you. What is it? It is the very feeling that you have been searching for all your life. But what is it? You buy things, bigger things, earn money, searching for it. Is it happiness? Is it a bigger house? Is it love? What is it we all search for? You can even get strange feelings and wonder what is it? Look at an animal. Look at it. Take away its identity, then try and discover what it is. Inside, we all search for it. Some of you have had it. And many beings don't know how to achieve it. When you are ill, you wonder what it is. You then find out what it is and then you don't want it. How will I know or how will you know when you get it? What will it look like? What will it feel like? Can I touch it? Can I smell it? Can I hear it? Now, only you know what it is. 
and only you know what it wants. Only you can know what it feels like, and you will know how to hear it. So what is it? I will tell you. It's your inner teacher. I, T, it. It's your inner teacher, asking you to seek inner transformation. I, T, it. The way I see it is like this. God is not religious. Your soul is not religious. Your spirit is not religious. It's an it. So, it is intuition in a teacher. Spirit is within you. It's your inner teacher. It. It's what I call spirit. It's not a him or her, but an it. And that it. Is inside every being, animal, insect, plant, and fish. Healing. What is it? Emotions. What is it? The mind. What is it? Spiritual. What is it? Your experience. What is it? Healing is your inner teacher. Emotions are your inner. Teacher, the mind is your inner teacher. Spiritual is your inner teacher. Your experience is your inner teacher. Once you know it, it becomes known. It becomes your inner transformation, and your inner it is an intelligent teacher. It. That has been reminding you to be you. So you can see where my mind went over the years, trying to understand what is it. Well, I did discover what it is, and of course now I'm it. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Understanding what is it. When we don't understand something, we say, "What is it?" It can be food. Somebody puts a plate of food on your table. You'll say, "What is it?" You know, somebody give you a, a present. You immediately turn around and say, "What is it?" So, what is it? It's your inner teacher. This is the teachings that I bring because it came from my inner teacher, and I'm not the only one on the planet. Every soul that came to this planet has an inner. Teacher, it's just that we don't know, or you don't know, how to connect in with your inner teacher. Your inner teacher is a guide. It is a combination of frequency, vibration, and energy. That is what it is. Now we live on planet Earth, supposedly, and everything is labelled. So we've taken away the word of it, isn't it? So therefore we have a language, but that language isn't true. That's just the language that helps you to survive on planet Earth and to be able to communicate with people. When you go beyond the human programming, you will discover that you are it. You are the one, the one beaming. You are. Precious beyond, your soul and your spirit is on a journey that the human doesn't quite understand. Understanding what I teach, which is the beamy, you start to understand that your soul is on a different journey, and what it is that you, as a human being, you have to connect with it. And once you start connecting with that, oh my God, I'm telling you. It's a total different trip, because now you're finding an inner teacher, an intelligence of intuition within you, and once that starts to open the doors, then floodgates open, and then all of a sudden, you can be writing things that you never even thought about. I have singers come through to me, and I teach them how to 
be able to put a song together in literally 21 words. It's an incredible way of doing it. When people come through to me on a Skype, within 21 words, I can decipher what it is that your soul is up to, that you, the human side of you, has no idea. It's that quick, and it can be that simple. It's simple now, but it wasn't, because everything that I've achieved is brand new. So the Be Me Bible is something that you adhere to. Inside of you, you have your own Be Me Bible. You're trying to get back into a world that won't let you in. Why do you want to get back into a world that chucked you out in the first place? So you have to understand that you're not meant to be in that world. When I look at life and I look at the way it's going, we basically all become a process of throwaway razors. Once blunt, chuck it in the bin. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be a blunt razor. I want to grow as a being in wisdom. I don't want to grow a being that is old and doesn't know what on earth has gone on. I want to know everything about me. And be honest with you, I surprise myself many times. If there are things that I think I can't do, I think to myself this, and this is how I look at it. I think, well, if someone else can do it, then surely I can do it. Surely I'm not that useless. So I have a go. Have a go, Trev. So somewhere along the line, my soul said to me, how about if you can heal? Never came into my vocabulary ever within my life. So I started to do something that I didn't think I could do. But going into myself and connecting to that intelligence, that intelligence is absolutely phenomenal. Now, the darkness on this planet do not want you connecting with it. Think about it. It can be love. Everyone wants love. But this planet, there is no love. You may love one person, you may love your dog, you may love your cat, you may love your children, but I guarantee you it's not the same love. We want the one love. Love, living one vibrational energy. So you need to find your one vibrational energy, your signature tune. Your signature is very important because you give off a vibration, you give off a feeling. Now, you may be looking at me and saying, but I don't know. Yes, you do know, because let's say you go into a pub. Are you not reading people's energy? Are you not picking up feelings and vibrations from everyone in that room? Oh, I think you are. But when have you connected with your own energy, your own frequency? How many of you do not like the way you feel? That's a frequency. That's an energy. And we have many words to explain why you don't like who you are or the way that you feel. You have many dramas, many excuses that can tell you why you feel the way that you feel. But of course, you don't like it. So what is it? It's an experience. It is an experience. So getting connection with your it, your inner teacher. And I love the words IT because it's my initials, but the other way around, TI. Cross the T's, dot the I. Trevor Isley, right? And it's funny how that has came to my attention. Over the years, I found it quite phenomenal because I didn't really like my name and I don't know anyone that really does like their name. So here's an important question. If you could choose your name rather than it being chosen for you, what would your name be? It's an interesting thing, isn't it? A lot of pop stars change their names, but we never change our names, do we? Whatever our parents have called us, we kind of go by that and we live by that and that's our name. So is it my name? No, it's just an identity. That's how everybody knows me as my name. But my it is a completely different thing. And through the process of writing out what is it, of course, it came to the one word of Embaki.
Embiki is a structure, Embiki is a code of the soul, Embiki is a healing program, Embiki became just one word. It isn't in the dictionary, you cannot find this word, it's only me that has this word. And now I can safely say that Embiki is it. It was a code. This code works for everybody because, listen, I'm no different from you. I want the same things you want. I went through the same things you're going through. My mind thought exactly like you. I did what every man on this planet is supposed to do. So do you get fed up with being it? I got fed up being a man because I just didn't like the rules and regulations of what I was supposed to do as a man. That's not spiritual. That's not even soulful. I was just being an it in the program, trying to fit in to it, but it kept kicking me out of the program. And so therefore, that's where you become lost and confused. And that's when you go into your inner world because the outside world is kicked you out. So you can go back and it will kick you out again. And in the end, you think, my God, I'm going to give up because... Every time I try to achieve something, I just end up losing. So I had to go in and say, why? What is it that keeps on doing this? And I suggest that you do the same. Because if you keep working with it, it will show itself and you will understand it to be your greatest teacher. My name is Trevor Rowsley, or is it? I'll see you on the other side. Take care.